Blue Sky Plan contains powerful tooth segmentation options. The segmentation panel can be opened by going to the panel drop down and choosing segmentation. The axial slice view should be positioned towards the edge of the relevant teeth. Automatic tooth segmentation is the fastest way to segment a tooth. Pressing select tooth and then the relevant tooth will highlight the tooth in pink. The threshold slider can be used to raise or lower the density threshold to affect the area being selected in pink. The height limit can also be used to control the length of the area being selected. Pressing Show Segmentation Data in 3D will preview the segmented tooth. Pressing VR Volume Rendering will once again return to the full volume. Changes to the threshold and height limit can be made and Show Segmentation Data in 3D can be pressed again to preview the changes. Pressing Create Surface will turn the segmented tooth into its own surface in the surface panel. Pressing Erase from Patient Data will extract the tooth from the 3D and 2D views. Clear segmentation data can be used if a tooth has been selected and you do not want to proceed with creating a surface or erasing from patient data. The clear segmentation data will remove the selected and highlighted area. The undo button can be used to undo the segmentation. Clear segmentation data will remove the highlighted area in the 2D views. Another way to segment a tooth is by using the placement of a virtual tooth. Once the virtual tooth has been placed in the desired location, the virtual tooth segmentation option can be used and pressing use active tooth model will highlight the relevant area. We then have the same options to proceed with creating a surface, erasing from the patient data, or undoing the selected area. Show segmentation data in 3D will show us how the extracted segmented tooth will look. Advanced tooth segmentation should be used for the most accurate segmentation process possible. Start by indicating the tooth in the panoramic view by drawing a rectangle around it. Pressing next will start a short wizard that the software will take us through to indicate the relevant tooth. Tools such as lasso, brush, and erase can be used to indicate the relevant areas. It intelligent lasso will select the area within the lasso created. Pressing next will take us through a few relevant slices to select the desired area. Tools such as brush can be used to modify the selection of the lasso. The shift key should be held when using any of the tools in the panel. The pink lines showing in the 2D indicate the areas that have been indicated by the user. After completing the relevant slices, the software will show us the segmented tooth in the 3D view. Post-processing tools such as smooth inflate and deflate can be used 
to modify the segmentation. If more exact modification is necessary, the previous button can be used to return to the previous slices and alter the selected areas. A new segmentation can be started by clicking Start New Segmentation. Once we have the desired segmented tooth, we could once again decide if we want to create a surface and or erase it from the patient data. Clear segmentation data will erase the selected area completely and stop the process.